classic gardens look super stylish and with the right planning and plant choice, they can be really low maintenance too. I'll show you how to give your garden a classic easy care design. Classic gardens are usually organised around a focal point, like the entrance to your house or a specific feature. They're defined by clean lines, symmetry and repetition. And layered planting, leaving no space for weeds, helps to keep things low maintenance. This is my garden and the first thing I need to do is draw up a plan. There's a few key things to consider when creating your own classic garden. First, identify your focal points. Here it's the entrance to the house and the large palms on the left. Then think about lines and borders to draw the eye in. Structured edging and planting in rows will help achieve this. Classic gardens often have a path or paving, both functional and as a feature itself. And neat lawns help take care of larger areas. Classic designs often include ornaments and I'll add a large pot in the centre of my palms. This could also be a statue or water feature, whatever you're keen on. Then choose three to six different plant types and repeat the order they're planted in. Repetition instantly draws interest and also looks neat and tidy. There are four plant types that are ideal for creating a classic garden. They're easy to grow and simple to maintain. Use hedging and topiary to create defined lines. Ground covers are quick growing and low maintenance, great for hiding weeds. Fillers and flowers add a touch of colour or scent to a space, and for bigger areas, large shrubs and trees add structure and height to your design. In my garden, for the edging, I'll plant a row of Mondo grass at the front, and then just behind that, a low hedge of Buxa sempervirens. I'll add Deities grandiflora between the rose bushes on the right and around my feature pot, and I'll use gardenias and pratia as my filler dotting in a few lavender towards the back for a spot of colour. If you like, you can simply adapt this planting plan for your place or create a mood board to help get your own design started. Right, time for planting. Now the existing soil in these beds is pretty good, so I'll add in a few bags of garden mix and some sheep pellets as a slow release fertiliser and then dig all that through. I'll position our pot just make sure this is nicely bedded down into the garden. Then I'll start laying out all our plants to check we've got our spacing right. I'll start with a row of Mondo grass all the way around the edge of both my beds. And behind these go our Buxus. Now I'll position our deities around the pot and we'll repeat on the other side, placing a couple in between each rows. Now these should grow up and add some nice white flowers to the garden. Now for our filler, I'll start with our Pratia. They're a really great fast growing ground cover and in springtime be covered in delicate white flowers. And at the back here I'll position our gardenias. Another great sort of ground cover. It's going to get to about 40 centimetres and just spread out to help fill in this area. As always when choosing your plants make sure they suit the climate of your region. These gardenia for example won't do well in the cooler South Island. And finally I'll add in our lavender. Right, looking good. Just make any final tweaks and then let's get them in the ground. Dig your holes about twice the size of the pot the plant came in. And because we're going to be adding a layer of mulch at the end, it's a good idea to plant things slightly higher in the soil so they don't get buried in mulch straight away. Now, because I'm planting lots of buxus and mondo grass along here, and they're all going to be quite tightly packed in, Better to dig one big trench rather than loads of individual holes, it's just going to make planting a bit easier. And a quick tip when planting along an edge, to keep things nice and straight, run a string line to give yourself a border to follow. Then finish off with a decent layer of mulch to keep moisture in and weeds out, and give everything a good watering in. Then you're good to go. When it comes to maintenance, this depends on your plant choice, but the idea of course is to keep it simple. It's important to keep your garden well watered during the warmer months and installing an irrigation system up front will help with this. Trim back and fertilise flowers to keep them coming and if you're keen on topiary, shape your hedges as they grow. And there you go, follow these principles for a classic kiwi look that can be as low maintenance as you like. Easy as.
and make sure you subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel for more great content or click here to watch more.